This is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is baby because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now let's talk about it and let's come in hot. At the time of this recording, Shiba Inu is currently four zeros and five four. It's down 5% on a day. It's down 18% on a week. But remember to always put things into perspective. Baby, it's up 143% in the last month. Now let's get to the call options like we always do. And now let's get to the beast, the banger. You know what time it is. Shiba Inu, Lucid Motors, and AMC. First off, the Lucid Motors call option that we got into, we ran up 153%. Shout out to the Discord family. And we got into a Ford call option. This one ran up 140%. If you want to be up on the plays or learn how to trade options for the very first time, hit the Discord link in the top of the chat. Basically, we'll teach you in our options class for absolute beginners. We'll see you there. Now, what's going on with Shiba Inu? Take a look at this because now the articles are starting to come out and you know I just don't have it in my heart to leave you uninformed. And what I want you to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, turn it on to all so you can be up to date on everything going on so we can keep it real, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. But here we go with some ugly information on Shiba Inu. And it says this, this is from Coindesk. And they said Shiba Inu sees a record speculative frenzy. Remember that term because they're going to keep seeing it. A speculative frenzy is what they're labeling it as. And they said they snapped the five week winning trend. And then it said previously, the previous episode of this speculative frenzy paved the way for SHIB to have a 90% crash. They posted this on November 8th. Now, am I saying it's gonna crash 90%? No, however, I want you to understand, I will keep it real with you all of the time. And we're gonna make it make sense to see how Shiba Inu is different from how it was back when this happened. But I am not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Shiba Inu. I'm just giving you the facts and then you be the judge. So, you ready? Let's take a look at this. CoinMarketCap reported that the amount of holders of Shiba Inu is now almost over 1 million. We have 926,684 individual holders of Shiba Inu at the time of this recording. Once we get over a million holders, this is gonna be another positive catalyst for the stock, or actually for the cryptocurrency and the token. But understand this, let's take a look at this Coindesk article and see what they're talking about with this speculative frenzy. Now they said, addresses that acquired the cryptocurrency within 20% of its all-time high is basically up six times more than it was the last time that this happened. Now, to put that into perspective, again, there's over 900,000 wallets, and they're saying that 116,000 of them, which is about 12%, so remember, it's not that much. It sounds like it's a lot, but it's not actually that much, which is about 12% of the total count bought in for the first time basically within 20% of the all-time high. So with this in mind, you can see that about 12% of the people who bought Shiba Inu around that time are actually down, which tells you 88% or so are basically up. So the majority of the people in Shiba Inu are actually up on their position according to this data here. But let's go back and let's check it again. And it says the spike in so-called all-time hires in terms of addresses, people who bought within that 20% range of the all-time high, it says that this indicates FOMO, and FOMO is the fear of missing out, right? And basically with that, it said this is often observed in the last leg of a bull run or a bull market. And then it said again, the last time that this pattern emerged in Shiba Inu, which was back in May, Sheep dropped 90%, but remember, Shiba Inu was not on Coinbase. It was not on many of these other exchanges. It was not as widely adopted. It was not a household name back then. So we're gonna keep it going and make it make some sense because they brought in a pattern. They brought in some chart work and they said that on this current trend, they can see it going to four zeros and 32. So the reason I'm telling you this is not to add fear into your life, but I will always keep it real with you and I want you to be on the lookout to see, is there trend continuing are we actually headed towards 32 and again make sure you hit the notification bell and the subscribe so then when i update you on the information you could be all the way up to date and again i want you to share this video on your facebook on your twitter share with somebody you know so that then we can all get to the information together and i appreciate you for the love now take a look at this and let's step it back and really dig deep into who shiba new is and how it is different from once it once was that other price or back in may Excuse me. So Shiba Inu, basically, it says we have not stopped working to make sure that coin market cap provides answers. Right. And then remember, answers for what? Because the circulating supply went from three ninety four trillion to five forty nine trillion, basically up a whole lot. So and then coin market cap 
told us that they weren't going to change it back because they got it checked. So I dug even deeper because again, you know, I got to get to the facts and show the receipts. When Coin Market Cap told us when they had that podcast basically with coin recap with connor sefton and they said that the coin market cap number is now fixed you know we had to go into the research so let's check this out when you go to coin market cap they said that they did an audit on it right and who did they use they used an institution or a company called certic right so when you look at this and you click audit you go to the file and when the file comes up it shows you all of the audit history so audit history basically tells you this is when someone triple checks right if you don't pay your taxes or you don't pay enough taxes, you can get yourself audited. So where the IRS is going to basically send some accounts in, they usually send like third parties in or whoever to basically check over and make sure that all of your ducks are in a row. So in this case, it says the audit history. And when I saw this, I was absolutely shocked, but I was impressed at the same time with Shiba Inu because Shiba Inu, they told us before that you know they have to start to rely on the blockchain they were relying on coin market cap but when you go and look at the audit it says that shiba swap and this is the amount of tokens that shiba knew had in circulation shiba swap right it said that they requested to be audited not in november when the rise was happening they requested to be audited according to this information right here on certic.org on may 27th 2021 they requested that audit basically to check how many coins exist what is the circulating supply how many holders exist so on and so forth but they didn't go through until when i highlighted it or actually i put it in a box right here for you to see it says the revision date when the audit actually happened and they revised it was on november 2nd 2021 and then you look down here it says they found 34 different findings like what is the actual supply, the circulating supply, how many of them are being burned? They found all these other things. What is the market cap, right? But 97% of it has been resolved. So there's still 3% about Shiba Inu that is currently not known, at least in terms of the audit, but it's basically all done. But again, I was so impressed to see that Shiba Inu, the founders, the developers, they actually wanted to be audited to basically check how many coins exist. And they wanted to do it way before that run in early November, like November 2nd, which is when coin market cap probably allegedly, supposedly nobody's trying to get sued, but they allegedly had it pushed through because they probably have a lot more pull with an organization like Certic to get something to happen quickly rather than somebody like Shiba Swap, we just have to put a request in and then just wait. But then all of a sudden when Shiba Inu was running up, then, just then, Certic found time all of a sudden to do the audit. So then, remember, Shiba Inu, it turns out that they actually wanted to get audited as early as May 27th, long, long before this run. So shout out to them for that. That's another stripe that they earned with me. But let's keep it going. Certic, when you keep going through here, remember, you're going to see time and time again how the majority of Shiba Inu was owned by a few holders, right? And even when you look at Certic, it says one of the weaknesses of Shiba Inu is it's not as decentralized as you would want it to be, meaning it's centralized, as in it's all in one spot. So understand this, when you really look into the decentralization, the first largest holder, 41%, Remember, is that black hole burn wallet from the co-founder of Ethereum who basically sent it away and you can literally watch and make sure that this never changes ever, right? So then the next one is crypto.com and there are other exchanges highlighted here in yellow and you can see that exchange wallet, all of these different kinds of exchanges are the main holders and notice that none of them have more than 4.5% of all of the cryptocurrency. Now, let's keep it going understand that the amount of active users is down and this tells you a few amount of things the first thing it tells you is not as many people are buying it but it also tells you not as many people are selling it either so when you look at this it says dod like day on day is down basically one percent on a day in terms of how many users are using it but it's down basically three percent or 34 percent on the week so most people who bought it weeks ago are holding most people are holding and we love to see it now let's get to lucid ticker symbol lcid now i got to have you understand you can make money with crypto but you got to be able to diversify and make money in other places so lucid ran up today nine percent let's cover it real quick basically why the infrastructure bill the 1.2 billion dollar infrastructure bill it has 7.5 billion for ev charging networks which help to pump up all ev plays particularly this one why two catalysts 
two huge catalysts for Lucid are coming up. Their first earnings call ever is coming up on 11-15, November 15th. So basically next week, you could expect it to happen. And they have another thing that we want to hear about during their earnings call. The 2002 or 2022 Lucid Air Grand Touring EV is basically expected to come in the spring. And it says this, it says the Air Touring is starting at 95,000 and it's expected to come over in the spring 2022. Why is this important? Because currently you can only get a Lucid Motors car for 196,000, basically almost double. And you have to have a reservation. So we can't wait to see these things keep pumping Lucid up. Now let's get to the beast, the big dog, the banger. You know, gorillas in the chat, baby. And it's AMC Entertainment, currently up 8% on a day. This may change by the time you see this because you know the earnings call is happening and it just happened literally as I'm recording this. So understand this, they beat the earnings expectations and the expectations were already high. We love to see it. They expected to only lose about 53 cents, but they only lost 44 cents. So how did that translate into dollars? The revenue was expected to be 708 million. Remember last year it was in the 100 millions. It was expected to be in the 700 millions this time, 708, but they actually beat that by over $50 million family. And they got $763.2 million in revenue. We love to see it, AMC. Again, I love y'all. I want you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I'll see you on a live stream tomorrow at 9.15 AM. Join the Discord options class if you have not done so already. Again, I love y'all. Also, if you wanna buy Shiba Inu, I can't forget this. Hit the public investing app in the top of the comment so you can get some Shiba new and not have to pay any fees. But again, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.